Thank you very much. Thank you. And now we have the wreath of the American Legion Post 405, Benjamin Franklin Post. I'd like to call upon Commander Peterson and all members of the Post who are here who would like to accompany him uh, forward to place the wreath. All members of the Post. Finally, we have the wreath of the Meade family. And mostly every year, we receive a wreath from the family represented by Hope Fox Coates, who is the great, direct, great, great granddaughter of General Meade, uh, and her sister Sage Fox. They used to live in Abington. Uh, they're direct descendants of uh, General Meade's son, George Meade. Uh, but they moved to Maine. And they can't get down here so easily, particularly with the snowstorm. So they have sent the wreath. And I just wanted to acknowledge them and their kind donation and call upon uh, the, uh, the governors and, and Bill Moore here, who's a Navy veteran, to place the wreath. And this is from the Meade family. Hope Fox Coats, Honor Meade Fox Coats, and Samuel Crozer Fox to honor General Meade, his oh, wife Margareta, their oh. paternal grandparents. So thank you very much. And thank you. At this time, I'd like to call upon our honor guard under the command of Lieutenant John Green, 28th Pennsylvania, for the traditional honor volleys. There will be gunfire, so please take appropriate action. <laughs> Three volleys is traditional. <laughs> Veterans render a hand salute. <laughs> Civilians hand on heart. Ready. <laughs> a single shot weapons, it takes a while. <laughs> Additional taps by Bugler Ed Bilger. Oh, 
like to call upon our band to render appropriate peace. What will this be, sir? The Battle Hymn of the Republic. The Battle Hymn of the Republic. Very appropriate. Where am I so? Well, we've got to go soon. This is our treasurer of the Bay Society. You know what that means. <laughs> uh, we do have a number of uh, projects going on. Uh, number one, dues are due. We are uh, calendar year. Number two, we are uh, raffling off a basket of chia uh, to raise funds for preservation and uh, several other things. So, sir, would you like to say a few words? Well, thank you. Jerry McCormick. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I am working behind the scenes today because unfortunately my wife is ill, so I'm not wearing uh, my usual bar. But I'd like to say welcome to everyone here. Uh, the General Meat Society is very prosperous. We have been receiving some very, very nice individual donations from people. And I would just like to say that this is the 140th anniversary of the unfortunate passing of George Mead died in 1872 and for a while he seemed to be forgotten but as we approach his greatest triumph next year the year of the 150th anniversary of the Battle of Gettysburg and his greatest glory we want to say that thanks to people like you who have supported the General Meade Society he will not be forgotten thank you very much here, here. Happy thank New you. Year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I have non-alcoholic drink. Uh, we will, everybody will get a, a, a toast of champagne yes. so we can do a toast. This is Mike Wunsch portraying John Welsh, who is buried here, by the way, who was the chairman of the Great Central Sanitary Fair, raised funds for troops, and the Centennial as well. And he wants to say, uh, bring right. greetings. Well, thank you. Thanks, everybody, for being here on behalf of the membership of the General Meat Society of Philadelphia. Uh, thank you for your support and for your tribute to uh, General Me today. And uh, we invite you to uh, support the society and uh, attend events and participate. And uh, thanks for being here today. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Uh, so, we did you open the champagne? Do, does everyone have cup? A cup? All right, where are the cups? We need cups. Cups, cups. Please, Mike, will you see the uh, cups? 
we, we're not going to toast until everybody has a cup. Not in their cups, but has a cup. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I see members of the 114th Pennsylvania here. Thank you. I forgot to mention you. Thank you, sir. This whole side. This whole side. We have cups. cups. We need cups down here. We need cups in this side. This whole side. Yeah. You have cups on the left side. Okay, we need cups. Please. <laughs> Cups. Do we have cups? Do we have cups? Have cups? More? Oh, man. oh my God! Nobody down there has it. Nobody. More cups. Right front. More cups. Many, many more cups. Many, many more cups. Or cups. Cups. I don't know the cups. Uh, come down to the front. The okay. VIPs don't have anything. No. Oh, we need cups. We need cups. Uh, Bob, could you get us some cups? Could you get some cups? Thanks, Bob. Everybody have cups here? Yes. Okay, we're getting cups. Do you have a... Give it to the ladies. Uh, do we have cups? We need... Lots of cups. Cups. On the flank. Now it's our bottle. Bottles. 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 We have bottles. Here's some here. Of course. We need some. Is it buried up in who is it? Yeah. 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 Hey, are you getting your cup? From this, can you get me a cup? Oh, yeah. They're related to it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't yeah, and happy new year. Jeff here and have some. Oh. Yeah. Dave, is he warm? Oh, Dave, is he warm? 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 <laughs> Long life, sir. Good help. Good fortune. <laughs> All right, uh, la ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the ceremony. However, we do have a reception with food supplied by the Carney Commissary, Tom and Judy Carney and their their associates. Uh, please, we will be very, very grateful for donations. And please allow the uniform people to go in first, if you wouldn't mind. In the meantime, we do have other beverage refreshments, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic. So please enjoy yourself, help yourself, and we'll be circulating and talking. Thank you very much. Happy New Year to you, too. Happy New Year. Uh, Hold on back. I thought that voice sounded familiar. How are you? Oh, man, I got to see you. Good to see you. No, no. What happened when blacks went to Gettysburg, they took their weapons from them. Is that right? Yeah. They, when the blacks went to Gettysburg, they took their weapons from them. All right, I'll take care. And then when did you guys fight? Um, they ended up fighting the third. Yeah. Actually, Fort in Florida.